Hello, I'm Ken McDill. When Major League Baseball added a second wildcard team to each of its two conferences four seasons ago, it raised its number of postseason teams to 10, three division winners and two wildcards in each conference. That's 33% of the 30 teams in the league, and for American professional sports leagues, that's still fairly exclusive. The National Basketball Association and the National Hockey League each invite 16 out of 30 teams, which is 53%, and that's too many. It makes the regular season seem so unnecessary. It reduces the meaning of every regular season game. It creates a situation where missing the playoffs is harder than making them. The National Football League currently invites 12 teams out of 32, which is 37.5%. That's more than baseball, but less than hockey and basketball. The reason I bring this up is today is the last day of trading before the deadline in Major League Baseball. The weeks before the trading deadline is when teams decide whether they are buyers of talent trying to solidify a playoff run, or sellers of talent trying to restock minor league systems with young prospects while ridding themselves of expensive veteran contracts. Because of the two wildcard spots in each conference, 18 of the 30 teams today still feel they have a shot at the playoffs, which improves competitiveness and makes every game seem important. In a 162-game schedule, it is important to add meaning to every game. So baseball got it right when it added the second wildcard team four years ago. Way to go, baseball. Now do something about the strike zone. I'm Kent McDill. Thanks for watching.